four, five, six, six lentils done in the, space, in the span of four days. Apologies, I've been doing the crease, tile creasing course and um, forgot the, the camera's rushed off to the van because it was raining. It's very patchy, but let's hope we, get, we, get, we just get half a chance. There you go. So, we'll try and get our soldiers straighter than that. Right, Monday the 15th of May. Quarter to eight. We've got a bit ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> we started on the scaffold. The scaffold is the same width as the bloody steps, so it's, we're going to have to have a bit of a gap. But I like Alex said, we get the acros up there. We'll manage somehow. So, um, yeah, it's this one today, so we'll just stick on time. That'll probably get ourselves set up. or iron in, in the clay of the brick and it's rusted and blown the face off the brick. Apart from that it's not in bad nick. But uh, yeah, the lintels have gone. Rusted. So um, we're going to end up with a bit more of a joint on top of this and on top of this because we're dropping down onto the lintel as you can see there. And, um, and get our soldiers straighter than that. Look at that. How they stayed up in the first place, God knows. I'll put it at the bottom of that, you see it better. Look at that. The brickwork isn't too bad. So as long as we I did him better. See, belly's out across the top as well. So, we're taking this one out anyway. So, we're going to make it, we'll be able to blend that in a lot better. <clears throat> the forecast isn't brilliant for today, so we're just going to have to do our best. I hate doing soldiers across lintels anytime because they, they just don't like sitting on lintels. So um, we do have timber to prop this lintel because as you can see this lintel sits well forward from the frame so it's going to be all lintel there when you look at it. Insulation for um, packing out the cavity, keep all the fluff in, in, intact. And it's like buzzes, you see one dodgy lintel, and they all seem to be the same. So, let me just take this out. There you go, so we've got this crappy little closure which is sat on, sat, sat on a piece of brick which has got the lintel on top. Which has got another piece of brick on top of that, and that's it. Good job we taught brute. Brought two spare bricks, Alex. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, one of those is three quarter. They've been clean, leave them up here. I know they, they belong in, they've got to go back in the same place. Okay. So there you go. Lintels are of course low in the window, so we're going to bring our tray up here. There's the vent from the other tray. So our, our other vent's going to be here. So this brick's got to come out. Yeah, that, that, I'd say that's cleaned up pretty easily. Um, yeah. There you go. 
there's the damage on the lintel. It's not really bad, but it's, it needs replacing. It's not like um, next door is a lot worse. It started jacking up there and jacking up there. And the top one's the same. No, they've got no lintel at all. It's all dropped and it's all sat on the window. That's quite dangerous, that bit. But um, <coughs> we don't push ourselves on people. If they want us to do it, we'll do it for them. So yeah, we're all opened up now, so we've got prop in, so we can get back to about here now before we put the other prop in. Alex is on with the bricks and the uh, tile creasing, getting them cleaned up. <coughs> oh, I might try and glue them first as well before we put them back in. Yeah. Yeah. If we haven't got any, I'll go and get some some of the old tight stuff. Just stick them on a nice flat surface and glue them back together. It's only the tile crease for the top, so it's going to be put in and then haunched up anyway. So. So yeah, there you go. Can't put that back in, can we? So, back to time, that's how we get a bit more out and um, on with the radio. Uh, apologies, if we missed the tail end of that bit then. Forget to press frigging record again. So there you go. Here's uh, another example how not to do a lintel. On a little bit of brick again, it's still in at that end. That's just point out for me. Under the lintel. It's just a bit of old tatty brick and some mortar. The lintel slapped on. Too far back. So the overhang's too far. No wonder the bricks fell forward. Cavity tray that doesn't reach the end of the lintel and just drops down the back of it. I must admit, I did used to have them just dropping onto the lintel, but you need to cover the lintel with the tray. And we've had to take out extras to get our tray up to get our upstand, so we've had to go back a brick and a half each time, which is right pain. So, yeah, let's get this out. Just flip it, flip it on its back. That's it. How steady can you get in the middle of it? Okay, don't want to make it look heavy. Heavy enough it's going. It's heavy but it's awkward. Yeah. Good, I've got to go with this way. Do you want to take your middle hand off? Swap hands. That's it. Get your hand around the... That's it. Hang on, let me put the camera down. Where are you going? I thought you were just feeding it like down. No, because if you did that, it's going to go down that drain. Okay. End. Sorry, okay, 
Are we okay? Yeah. The, um, oh, the band just locked itself all flashed. The door's open. Yeah. Why is it flashed out? You sure it's flashed? Yeah, the indicator's flashed. Well, because the blind up on that fell on the keys. Right. It didn't peep though, did it? Fuck off. Quite hit the open button then. Yeah. Right, it's down. That was a bit hairy. Had the, um, the phone popped off and I dropped it. I might have just caught that on camera. Oh, that looks is okay. Um, yeah, the, we're going to have to chop the top of this door off. I'm, I'm guessing. It looks like it's a bit higher than the brickwork. I'll have to see, but our lintel might it might go back. Anyway, we'll see. We can hack we can hack away at the door anyway because um, it's coming out. Was the door coming out too? Yeah. So um, we can just cut a notch into the frame so we can get the lintel back. Got a nice timber frame to put our na nails in so the lintel doesn't fall back. Um, if we can get under this course, we will. If not, we'll just go onto the top course and nail it and seal it like we normally do. Um, I've got three quarters at this end that I'm keeping to one side here. And we've, got, we've brought two spare bricks, one for the blown one. I thought I'll, I might as well bring to bring that one up. We need the two halves. Where they, uh, where they put the any old shite. So I'm just going to carry on tidying up, the, cleaning the bricks, and I'm going to um, and I'm going to um, get all this tidied up, and get it ready for the lintel. Catch you in a bit. Oh, what's in the bathroom on top of that? Okay, got it all ripped out now, and as you can see, that door frame is above the brickwork, and it's also just in from in line with the back of the brickwork. Now our lintel needs to sit in there a bit, so our lintel needs to sit roughly where this, this second line is. Here. So I'm going to go along with a little grind and take just take the top, take the top out of it, just like it, brace it right, so we can push the lintel back enough to get our brickwork over the front of it. Now we need our brickwork, we need our lintel as far forward as we possibly get it on this because of the uh, soldiers. You want as much support for the soldiers as you can. And as you saw, the, the, um, the old angle line was back here, so no wonder they fell forward. They didn't have uh, T clamps and box section back then to put in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go along with the grind and get that sorted. Alex has almost got all the bricks sort of cleaned. I think this is the softest mortar we've had on a job, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking about that actually. We, we haven't replaced many lintels where it's been sand and cement. I think the reason for that is because sand and cement came later, plus sand and cement doesn't let the water in as much as this, this soft lime mortar does. So um, it probably protects the lintels a bit better. But that's not such a bad thing because um, that sand and cement's a pain in the arse to get out. This stuff's easy. Just get the soles on, whip straight through it. So anyway, let's get this top of the slip done. Ten and the trays in. Well, lintels in. Lintels in. Insulations in. Trays in. There you go. So, what's left to do now is put a bed under the lintel. Put it in position. 
this tray's in, you can see it's nicely nailed flat against that block work. Nice block work that, for a change. It doesn't usually look like that inside the cavity. So this is secure, I'm not even going to bother silicon on that, because there's no sticky out bits on it. And then, um, the only bit we're going to put silicon is on the top in these corners where we can't get in with the nails. Oh shit, the music's going. Where was I? Yeah, there you go. This is a good view from down here. Tray's all in. Obviously got to be put down onto the, the uh, lintel and cut back and the upstands done and everything. But it's pretty much ready to go. Alex will be doing a mix after break. It's only quarter to ten. This is usually twelve o'clock when we get to this stage. This is how soft this mortar is and how easily it's came out. So yeah, that's the um, that's what's going to have to happen after break. And then we also need to sort out a prop. So you, can see, you can see better now how much lintel is sticking out above that door. So that needs an absolute solid prop underneath that for the whole lintel, like from side to side. I might try and get a piece of timber right up to the face of the brick. Maybe I'm sticking out a bit for the uh, soldiers so they've, they've sat on something. Give ourselves every chance we can. Um, is the lintel that we took out. There you go, grim. Not the worst we've taken out, but it's up there. Yeah, the cavity tray was a waste, a complete waste of time what they put in. It's still in there, to be honest. It's just hanging down in the cavity. Right, break time. Catch you in a right, bit. Break time over. Right, break time over. My glamorous assistant's just put a mix in. Learn assistant. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, we've just got a bit of fettling to do now, we've got to get the tray sorted out, get it sealed in the top corners where we can't get the nails, get this prop underneath it, and I'm going to use um, this this piece of pattern which is nice and straight, I'm going to put it on that, that, that way, I know it's doubled up but I'll put it that way, it's stronger, it's more strength in it, and um, I'm going to screw, there's two pieces of um, socket there. I'm going to put those down to it and screw them to it as well, just to give it a bit more support. But I'm going to um, cut it tight and wedge it into the brickwork. Um, and while I'm getting all that done, that mix should be ready. Nice mix of red. So we can get this done, fill those two holes up and put over that window. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. We've, um, we're uh, doing okay. It's quarter to ten, so good. Quarter past eleven. That's brilliant. Mix is in the bucket, ready to go, and we're ready. All the prep's done. You send the insulation. You send the lintel. There's the tray. I put a bit of silicon on it anyway. It's sealed at both ends, where it doesn't actually. Um, we can't nail it when it actually goes under. The other tray there. So there's the end of the other tray. There's the upstand from the other tray. It's perfect. We've got. We had this bit of old batten in the garden, so we've brought that. That's been wedged into the brickwork, and we've left it proud so that the actual um, soldiers um, have got something to sit on without falling over. So I should keep them a bit safer. This just needs pushing back this little. 
I'm not a net pulling air lens to steady that yet, but yeah, this, this ends up alright. The other end just needs pushing back. You, you always check by doing that. You want about 5 mil showing, so that you, you've got room for your brick to go in. It's a pain in the arse if it does that, if it doesn't, because you have to pack, pack up all your bricks. And the higher the ups down, the more you cut you have to do. So yeah, we're flying. Um, customer donated these two floorboards for us to prop this. So this is wedged in, tight to the lintel, and then it's propped here, down to the ground, screwed in. So that lintel is going absolutely nowhere. That's the best prop lintel we've ever done that. So yeah, time to start putting everything back. So I'll start with the two ends, the two cheeks. Obviously that goes straight up, and then soldiers and then the one close across the top with the coursing the creasing tile creasing course so yeah let's get cracking Time check. Ten past one. Ten past one and oh, nearly halfway through the soldiers. That's pretty good. Considering all the extra propping up we've had to do and what have you. Absolutely made up with that and it's looking good. And um the plum, they're within a couple of millimetres, so I'm made up about that. A bit worried about that how bad they were, but as you can see, there's no overhang on here. It's all taken up with timber. So obviously I'll have to dress that later, but at least it's stopping the soldiers going out. But they're just sitting where you put them. They're not leaning, they're not falling, which is what they always do when you do over a lintel. And, um, and as I say, it's solid. It's, it, this is wedged in and this is screwed in tight, so so far so good. And then we've got the tile crease to go over the top, tile creasing course to go over the top, and then that last course of brick. So it's coming on well. And then... Um, We'll have to come back and take the timber out on that, but we are doing the job down the street. This scaffold that was here for that has gone down about 10 doors down the street to do exactly the same lintel at that house. And they're having all three done, but I'll put that one straight away so we can get the scaffold gone. So yeah, um, I'm actually enjoying this. I know I've just jinxed myself saying that, but anyway, let's crack on. I might need a winter replacing too. Yeah. I've dropped one of these. Another one? Oh, have you got it back? I picked it two up here.
I'm sitting on the phone. Can you convince Dad to, uh, to actually take to actually do a uh, porch on Friday? <laughs> I said I don't need to convince. We've already agreed. So it's not agreed to me. It's something we agreed. Oh. Well, you still make sure you're reminded. <laughs> She seems to forget that you also want this doing. Yeah. A uh, whole bloody thing in there. Mm. Two bloody kilograms for every ton. If that kilograms is no, not even that. One, t one, two of that for fifty kilograms of cement. That's red. That's more than a third for like. That's two mixes. Yeah. That, that's a third of a mix. Told you, shit. Multi, multi guy, shit. Well, there's still perhaps. Yeah. There was no evil up there, is there? Yeah, 
for a little bit. Open up. Mm. Oh, thank you. Well, he did threaten it. What's the Oh. It was threatened, and here it is. And it's catching the brickwork. So I don't know how we're gonna, how we're gonna cover this lot up. I've got the keys. Here you are, Oh, Christ. Right, let's try and get covered up as best we can. And hope it blows over. It's very patchy, but let's hope we, get, we, get, we just get half a chance. Uh, apologies, I've been doing the crease, tile creasing course and um, forgot the, the cameras rushed off to the van because it was raining. Um, it's still uh, looking a bit iffy, but it passed over after about 10 minutes, Al. I'd say so, yeah. yeah. It did its damage and then went off. Yeah. So Alex has pointed those holes up for me, he's also pointing over the window for me. And um, I'm just getting these last last few bits done. It's just gone 2 o'clock, so we're doing alright, even with the, uh, the weather interruption. So um, yeah, we'll put it on town, that's the last little bit, and then catch up in a bit.
that. That is the end of the easiest series of lintels we've ever done. So we've got one, two, three. Five, six, six lintels done in, in the space in the span of four days. Three of which done in one day by that machine there. And then, so this has been this has been the side that I've helped with, and you've had the other side. Yeah. There you go. Am I? I'm sure I'm chuffed with how well they look. Yeah. Compared to them being bloody smooth criminals. They were, they were like ten mil. Up. Each bit was about ten mil. Up. Yeah. Well, that's fixed now and they've all got nice lintels in and they've got weep holes in until, you know, probably get taken down by uh, the renderers. But yeah, for now though, that'll do nicely. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you always know when we upload. It's a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. Any additional support you want to give, there's a super thanks under the video or the PayPal in Dad's description. That's not necessarily by any means, it's an extra way of uh, giving a bit of support to the channel, which goes a long way and is greatly appreciated. But, this has been Brickham with Steve and Alex with most pleasant lintels ever. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.